Hey everyone, Udabulture here, bringing you a new video of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, playing this on my PC and LG 45 inch ultra wide OLED. Now looking here at my monitor settings, pulling up the monitor control panel so you can see how I have everything set here. Now it is worth noting, most of the picture setting controls are controlled via the NVIDIA control panel. So for those, uh, check the description of this video. You can find a detailed list of how I've set up my video color settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Also of note, but down in the description, you can find a few different pieces of information, which include a link tree where you can donate to and support the channel directly, as well as a 5% discount code off coffee and tea orders. Finally, I've started setting up some membership tiers, just one tier so far, but just another means of supporting the channel. If you want to check that out, I'd appreciate it. Just click the join button down below. Now, quick commentary here, uh, but this video is taken from the beginning of the game. I'm definitely enjoying my playthrough. Now, I've been I've given it a few weeks uh, since launch just because of the, the, the PC launch stat status of this game. And so, wanted to see if a few updates would help it out just because I know performance was pretty rough. Now, overall, I, I still would say performance is rough when you're going into certain areas. Now, the game itself can, can settle and you'll see, I mean, most of the gameplay here is pretty smooth. However, there are certain elements, particularly, again, when you're going into new areas or like after a cutscene or even sometimes in cutscenes, you'll see a lot of frame time stuttering. And also, um, again, just like just frame rate tanking. I mean, <clears throat> again, the Digital Foundry did a great video kind of detailing the, the nuances of the performance of this game and what's going on. And again, so it, it's I wouldn't say it's like it's game breaking or anything, but certainly there's there's definitely elements, even with high end hardware, where you're just you're getting a stuttery low frame rate experience because the CPU is not being utilized correctly. And just overall, it, when you're going into these new areas, you're almost waiting for the game to load and finish loading assets but with all that said the game does look beautiful especially on this monitor now the game supports the ultra wide aspect ratio so no need for any programs or anything of that nature um but yeah game looks fantastic on this screen especially with the oled panel again just oled the oled panel really brings out a lot especially in terms of the contrast and just the the overall environment here especially in hdr for this game now with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and stop the commentary here and let you enjoy the rest of the video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all, whether it be about the game or any of my settings, anything like that. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for your support. Please don't forget hit that like button, and also please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you later. Ready to go. BD-1. Don't. I beg you. I fought in the war. I doubt that. Now clear out. Senator's orders. Oh, that's it. Blast them. Head out.
There's the yacht. Still drifting. That's the spirit, BD. We'll get it. Closer. Hanging in there, BD? Don't look down. Took you so long. Oh, you know, just hanging out, <clears throat> taking in the sights. <clears throat> Been a while since I was on Coruscant. <laughs> mm. Thanks, Bode. Part of the job, Gustus. <laughs> <laughs> 